I did a video on Zero No Kaseki or Trails from Zero that was just released uh, for the Nintendo Switch, uh, at least in Japan and Asian. I think it's also in Mandarin, Chinese, I believe. But either way, it's not available in English. Uh, and in that video, I talked about the uh, PS Vita version of the game, the, uh, which is basically a, an improved version from the PSP called uh, Zero No Kaseki Evolution. And it has, you know, voice acting and some other improvements as well, music. And one thing that um, is apparent in that original translation is that it is somewhat lacking. Um, it's not the best translation. There's some things that don't really make sense. Um, and there's some interface issues as well. Now, as of uh, yesterday, which is March 14th, I believe it is, was when it was released actually, um, the GeoFront group released a uh, brand new final update to uh, Zero no Koseki for the PC, um, which you can get. It's I think it's version 2.1. I might update that in like a, a script on the screen if it's wrong, but it's something like 2.1. Um, and it's kind of their final, their final update for that. And mercifully, the people who did the uh, translation for the Vita game, the Evolution one, have actually taken that translation and adapted it to the Vita version which is just a marvelous thing. So um, it's now available. You can go on GitHub and you can download the uh, patch files and you can actually very easily patch the Vita. Um, I actually found a Reddit post, which I'm gonna link to and I'll, and I'll cut to some information there and I'll, I'll actually go through it, of how to very easily get this, uh, get this working on your Vita because a user there um, was kind enough to basically do this for us. So um, I will do some screen capture uh, of basically getting it working. Um, I've actually already got it working on the Vita, so I know that it works. Um, there are a few things you need to get running first. I'm not like a you know the type of person who's going to go through and tell you how to do everything with a Vita. It's not really my specialty, uh, and these videos will become outdated anyways. But this one is pretty straightforward, so I, I feel like comfortable enough to do it. But um, yeah, it looks like we already have a really good translation. Um, unfortunately, I lost my save game. I was partway through the game because um, I kind of messed around with things to get it working, but that's fine. Um, but uh... Okay, so here we are. This is basically what I came across. I was, uh, a couple days ago, I was just thinking after doing my other video, um, you know, how far along has the Vita version come? Because uh, I know that there was some effort to take the GeoFront uh, translation, which is the superior translation, and move it over. And so, you know, I was just checking this out. This is for the PC version, which um, was finally, had its final update on the 14th, which is incidentally when my video was uh, finished, basically. So that came out immediately upon finishing my video. Um, not that it really dramatically impacts the video that I put out because um, it's the same patch for the PC version. It's just that it's now complete. So regarding that for the PC version, as of March 14th, the GeoFront patch is complete for PC, 100% um, all the way through. Um, so I highly recommend grabbing this if you want to play it on PC, it's wonderful. But I was interested to see what was going on with the Vita version. So I did a quick search and I happened across this here, which is basically a post talking about the fact that, you know, these are the guys who did the English translation for the Vita, for the Evolution version, and they've now moved over the GeoFront. Um, translation, which is amazing. So now it's been updated. There is an updated patch for this. Um, so I did a little bit more searching and I found this uh, post on Reddit from this user named uh, Jen Riso, I guess it's pronounced, uh, where they actually link to that uh, patch there. And they go into a little bit of detail of what's been changed and then also you know, how to get it working essentially. Um, you can dump the game yourself and you can, um, you know, fiddle around with the patch a little bit. Um, but this person, at least as of now, generously has provided the patch here. Um, you know, it's not the game itself. So, you know, there's, I can't tell you where to get the game if you don't have a physical copy. Um, but I'm, you know, they're out there. However, this is just the patch itself. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the language patch. Um, so you want to download that. And this, uh, this post here, rather than having to fiddle with some of the configuration files and you know, tweak it a bit, this is essentially a plug and play. So you can grab this file here and you can stick it in a folder on your modded Vita. Uh, you need to have certain homebrew apps installed and then essentially you're good to go. Once you do that, it's ready. So let's do that real quick. I will show you how to do that. So we essentially download this file here. Um, which is PC 
SG00042, which is basically the, the, the tag for the game. We download that. This isn't the game itself. Like I said, this is just the actual patch file. So you download that. Um, it's, you know, it's a 1.8 gig. It's large enough. Um, luckily, it's a Google link, so it goes pretty quick. So download that onto your computer. And then we're basically going to, once we have the game itself installed, we can essentially just move this to the Vita and we're good to go more or less. So let's do a cut to that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to try to get this set up so I can have two screens on at the same time. So the first step here is to go into your uh, PS Vita. Um, you need to go to PS, uh, so you need to go to the Vita Shell app. And you need to locate your folder. Um, so the game itself is going to be an app uh, in the UXO directory. Um, so you have your game installed in there. But you also have a folder over here called Repatch. And this is where the actual patch is going to go. You can see here I already have the patch in there. Um, so you basically need to have the game, which will be, you know, have the same tag there in the app folder. And then you need to have the, uh, the patch itself in here. So to do that, what I normally use is I use WinSCP um, or whatever your file transfer protocol of choice is. So I just use this. Um, so I'll just get that set up. In here, you're going to go down to your UXO folder. The app is where you should have your game already installed. It should be in there already. And repatch is where you're going to put that patch. So, you know, we download this here from this user here. It contains quite literally that file right there. Okay, so here I've downloaded the file. It's on my desktop. You're going to just extract it. There we are. And we're done. There you go. So that's already been packaged up for you based on that uh, user, that kind user on Reddit over there. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to need this file here. You're going to go to your PS Vita and you're essentially just going to drag and drop that in there. So you're just going to take that folder and you're going to put it in that repatch folder. If you don't have a repatch folder, you're going to have to obviously create one, um, which is in your UXO, uh, UX0 uh, directory and you just pick, make this repatch. Make sure it's you know capitalized the same way and you just drag it and drop it in there, hit OK, and it transfers. Um, you can do this, of course, with uh, like your SD card itself. Um, I actually did it via SD card. I just took out my SD card out of my Vita, put it in my computer, and just moved it to that repatch folder. I know where it's located. It was much faster, but you can use FTP if you want more of a visual interface. Once that's done, uh, you're essentially good to go, assuming that you have another homebrew installed on your actual Vita. So let's quickly switch over there and I'll take a look at that. Okay, so back onto the, just the PS Vita itself. You're gonna to need to make sure you have a certain homebrew installed uh, that actually allows you to um, play patched games. So we'll go into the auto plugin here. So inside here, you're gonna need a couple different plugins. Uh, you can do these manually from GitHub, which is always great. I just like to use this for now because it works fair, fairly well one you're going to need is repatch. This is important because this allows you to actually read that patch into the uh, game itself. If you don't have this installed, it simply won't work. Um, so there's two different versions here. I just grabbed 3.0. Um, I mean, I've had it before, but uh, you grab this, you install it. It uh, will basically reboot your Vita, and then you're essentially good to go. So you're going to have your repatch plugin, and then restart your PS Vita here, back into your Vita. You're going to hit the... Uh, Go back a bit. You have to go back to the original screen, uh, hit triangle, and hit refresh live area. Okay, you can see it there. And it's going to look for any newly installed things. I don't have anything installed, so this will go slower. It'll, it will hang up uh, probably around 20, 23% or so as it starts to install that uh, the game and the patch and make sure everything's working. Um, so that's what you do. I, in your case, it should say refresh you know, an item. Mine, it does not. And you're good to go. What you'll end up doing is you'll close that out. You'll go down here and you'll find your brand new, um, newly patched game right down here. So everything should be good to go. So let's actually open it up and have a look at it. If you already had the older patch installed, which I did, you're going to want to make sure you delete that out of the repatch folder. So if you have that in there right now, um, before you get this new one, you, know, you can replace it. But what I would do is I'd go into that folder, that repatch folder, delete that one. And again, it's PCSG00042 remove that out of there and then you're essentially good to go. So I've uh, I've gone past part of the prologue here. Oops.
So let's uh, have a look. You know, the game is visually it's unchanged, obviously. Um, the menus are a little bit more improved. The language itself is more coherent. It's you know it's just an improvement in terms of that. Um, you'll find that a lot of the text boxes, um, when you get into like actual text, they're they're more bounded to the bound to the borders, which is really nice. And the actual language is just more coherent. It was totally playable before. You could get through the game no problem, but you know it just didn't have as much natural speech and a lot of the humor and things would be lost. Um, so this is improved. I've went through a little bit and I forgot to save, but. Uh, it's just a lot more natural. This is more what you'd see if you got, you know, a high-end patch from, you know, uh, the developers for the Switch or something. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, you know, I'm not meant to. I'm not meaning this to go in and actually show the translation itself. There are many ways to see other people doing that, and really, you should be experiencing this yourself. Uh, but I just wanted to provide a real quick update to the fact that you know my video is essentially outdated in terms of the patch itself on the uh, evolution version here. And you know, with this update, um, this becomes a very attractive way to play this game. Um, you know, PC is great. It's amazing. Um, and you're going to get you know those very high resolutions in that. But I mean, having it portable in your hand, you can take it anywhere you go. And on the screen, which you're looking at on the you know the game capture, basically is nowhere near what I'm seeing on the PS Vita. The PS Vita itself has such a beautiful screen. Even the 2000 version, I have an OLED and an LED, and they both look marvelous. And uh, yeah, because of the resolution is you know designed for the game itself, you're not going to get all that pixelation that you guys are seeing on the screen right now. It actually looks quite beautiful on the Vita. So. Um, if you have a PS Vita, it's modded, which it should be, and you want to play a really good JRPG, I highly recommend you get your hands on this game and then pick up this brand new patch and give it a whirl. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful for some people.